Have you ever outwitted an opponent on the other team by tricking them into thinking you're about to pass the ball to one person and pass it to the other? Or in a game of tug of war? By suddenly loosening your grip on the rope, causing them to tumble backwards and then pick up the slack and pull it to your end with no resistance? Well, that's exactly what our Lord does in today's Gospel with the Pharisee who invited him over for dinner. Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria. There are several passages in the Gospels where the Pharisees accuse our Lord's disciples of not practicing certain Jewish customs, but hardly ever accuse Him of having committed some egregious infraction of the rules. And the reason is simple. Because for the most part, Jesus abided by these traditions. But not in today's Gospel. It says, after Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. Why did our Lord fail to complete such a basic task as washing his hands before supper? Because he forgot, not in a million years. Our Lord is God. And whatever he does, or doesn't do in this case, is perfect. Rather, he knew that by not observing the prescribed washing before the meal, he would be called out for it, thus providing him with an opportunity to correct the Pharisees and teach us all a lesson. He tricked the Pharisees into seizing the opportunity he was waiting for, and thus exposed the Pharisees' number one flaw taking notice only of defects in others while turning a blind eye to their own. And the Lord said to him, O you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. So what lesson can we learn from this? As with the Pharisees, we all have a natural inclination as a result of original sin to see other people's defects and not their qualities, while paying little attention to our own defects and aggrandizing our qualities. And so our Lord invites us in today's Gospel to invert the current situation of affairs by addressing our own defects and having patience with others and admire the qualities of others while downplaying our own. Like the game of snakes and ladders, if you want to slide into the abyss, pay exclusive attention to your own qualities. If you want to climb the ladder that reaches to heaven, admire the qualities of others. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.